Hey guys, uh, today we're going to tie a black woolly bugger. Uh, woolly bugger is an effective fly that you can tie in many different sizes. You could also tie it in many different colors um, that would be regarded as more natural like olive and tan and maybe even black or you can tie it in attractive colors uh, which would incorporate bright oranges and red. You could also tie it weighted or unweighted depending on the depth or the action that you want to fish with. So it's really just a very versatile fly. Uh, we're going to tie it in black and just in an unweighted version. Um, so I just want to go through the material quick. Uh, here we've got a long shank hook, streamer hook. This is a size 6. Uh, you could tie it down to a size 14 or something like that. Um, you could even tie it up to a size 2. Uh, I actually use a size 16 woolly bugger tied on a jig hook um, to fish some of the small streams close to Cape Town for wild trout. So yeah, it's just a very effective pattern. So that's the hook. Um, for the tail we'll be using black marabou. Two feathers of black marabou. Um, in the tail we'll also be putting in some flesh. This is a black flash by a company called Flashaboo. For the body we'll use a cactus chenille. Here we've chosen um, purple and black. And for the hackle, this is a grizzly hackle. As you can see tapers down. Quite a big hackle but it, but it is going to be quite a big fly. Grizzly hackle, you could use a black hackle on a fly like this, or even just a white hackle. Uh, just match your hackle color to your fly. Um, that's the best advice I can give you. For the thread, I'm using Danville 70 denier flat waxed. Uh, this is a, a fluorescent orange color, just so that you guys can see the, 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 the thread better. Uh, I would match the color of the thread to the fly, so on a fly like this I'll typically use a black thread. Um, but having said that, a um, fluorescent color like this does make a nice um, trigger point on their head. Um, other tools that I'm going to use is a whip finisher. Just a normal pair of tying scissors. And to finish the fly off, after I've whip finished it, I'm going to use a UV glue and a UV torch. So first things first, to start the fly off, you just wrap and lock in the thread. You cut off the excess and then go back to the eye of the hook and then just lay down a nice thread base along the whole shank of the hook. This thread base will enable your material to grip onto the hook instead of just spinning around and causing problems. Take your thread right to where the bend of the hook starts. Now one of your marabou feathers it. So for this fly I'm going to use this portion of the marabou feather, the top portion. So I'm going to pull as much of them forward as possible, like that. Then to measure the length of the hook, it's generally a good practice to measure the length of your hook shank and that's a good indication of how long your tail should be on a, a willy bugger. So that's about the length of the hook. Now you just transfer it to where your thread is. You pinch it in place with your other hand and now you do pinch loops or pinch wraps to secure it in place. Pinch wrap you just when you take your thread over you pinch it between your two fingers and then you pull down and then it pinches your material in place. Cut off the excess. You can cut it off quite long, 
because you don't want a huge hump created. You want it to be tapered down over the shank. Okay, so just tidy it up. For the flash, I'm just going to take one of the fibers. And I'm going to fold it in double. And with a loop in this end, I'm just going to keep it straight. Take it over the hook shank. Like that. Then I'm going to secure it in place, drop it down and secure it in place. And before you get to where you tie it off the marabou, just split these two flash fibers on either side of the tail. Just secure them in place. Pull the flash back and just cut them off carefully the same length as your tail. This is not a lot of flash, but generally in the water that I fish, um, patterns with less flash seem to be more effective. I'm just going to do the same with this next marabou feather. This would be the, um, the, the perfect time to layer different colors of marabou. So you could use purple here or red to create a trigger point. But I'm just going to use a standard black. Just pull them forward again. Measure against the shank of the hook. Put it in place. And just do some pinch wraps that one was fine and secured it in nicely. That's it. Now, just cut off the excess and run your take your thread back to where you tied off the first bunch, just secure it like that and just tidy up this clump. That's it. Now it's time to tie in your hackle. You'll see that the hackle tapers down. It's wide here to a little bit narrower, narrower on this side. I want the wider section to be used in the front of the fly and the narrower section on the back. So I'll start off by tying the hackle in the tip which is the narrower section you do this by pulling back the fibers pulling back the fibers and then tying it in right on that point a couple of wraps just to secure it in place then you cut off the excess There. Now for the cactus chenille, just cut off the length that you would use and just tie that in as well. Run your thread all the way forward, right to about three millimeters behind the, uh, the hook then start wrapping your cactus chenille and touching turns forward Once you get to the front of the fly, you just secure it in place with your thread. Now it's time to palm your hackle forward.
once you get to the front just keep tension on your ankle otherwise it unwinds and take your thread over twice over the material a couple of times on the other side and I like to just do it one more time then when you cut off your hackle just make sure that you don't cut off your um, tying thread as well to tidy up the head pull back all the fibers and create a nice neat head Now get your whip finishing tool, do two whip finishes. Cut off. That's it. Fly's almost done. Now just to seal the head, pull back the fibers a little bit. And then I just put a drop of this UV resin top of the head, turn the fly around, the bottom of the head, just make sure that you coat all the exposed thread. Then with a UV torch, just zap. the glue just to seal it you could put it in the sun as well but the best way is using UV torch and that's it woolly bugger done with a nice uh, fluorescent orange head